Welcome to Electro Online, and now we're going to talk about mesons and the relationship with quarks. As we can see, that hadrons, the heavy particles, are subdivided into two categories, the baryons and the mesons. The baryons is the one that we saw in the previous video, where are made up of three quarks, and from those baryons, only the neutron and the proton, proton is very stable, neutron is relatively stable, and all the other baryons are very unstable. And then we have the mesons, mesons for middle-sized, and those are made up of one quark and one antiquark. And what we find here is that they are also very unstable particles. Now, some of these are exchange particles, uh, for example, the pion. Um, but you can see that because they're made up of quark and antiquark, they have a very short lifespan. So notice that most of these barely make it more than one billionth of a second. So these are maybe uh, a little bit more, like five times that, or six times that, or eight times that, but nevertheless, very, very short time spans in their existence. Uh, they do carry a charge, some of them, like the positive pions carries a positive charge, and the negative pion carries a negative charge, and this, of course, depends upon what they're made out of. Remember that a, an up quark has a positive two-thirds charge, but a negative up quark, or I should say an anti-up quark, is a negative two-thirds charge, and a down quark is minus one-third, so together that gives you a minus one charge. A positive, uh, an up quark has a positive two-thirds charge, and an anti-down quark is the opposite of the negative one-third, therefore a positive one-third charge, and so therefore this makes a positive one charge, and that's where these pions get their charge from. Now you can see that the neutral pion has a very interesting makeup an up quark and an anti-up quark, a down quark and an anti-down quark. There's a minus in there. So this is a result that we got from calculating the energy state of a neutral pion, and that's the equation that we came up with. What's interesting about it is when it decays, it decays into two photons, which is a byproduct of the decay of an up quark and an anti-up quark and a down quark and an anti-down quark. So it's kind of interesting that when we look at the decay structure of a neutral neutral pion that it does seem to indicate an internal structure like that. So now looking at the, uh, the masses associated with these particles, even though they don't last for very long, they do have a mass, and notice that the mass falls somewhere between the mass of an electron, which is about a half a MeV, um, and then the mass of a proton neutron, which is almost a billion or almost a thousand MeV. So that's why they're called mesons, middle-sized particles. And again, it is the structure, the internal structure, caused by the formation of the union of a quark and an antiquark. And again, there's many more of these mesons on the ones that I have here on the board, made up of different kinds of combinations. And again, all of them are unstable. They only last for a very short period of time. Again, quarks are like the basic building blocks of matter, and it's the interchange particle gluon that keeps the quarks together, but in most cases, only for a very short period of time before they disintegrate into different kinds of nuclear particles like that. So that gives you kind of an overview of what mesons are and how they're made out of quarks. And again, the universe was not meant to maintain these particles for a very long period of time. They're only meant to be there for a very short period of time. And some of them are what we call exchange particles that carry the nuclear strong force between like the neutrons and the protons. But again, all they have, their only reason for existence is that interchange carrying the force for some of them. And for others, they just have a very, very short existence. Notice the lifespan of this particle right here, the eta particle. Again, when it decays, it gives you two uh, photons. And here, this is also a very short uh, lifespan for the neutral pion, and again, the result of that is just energy as the particle disintegrates and turns itself back into pure energy, back into photons. And that's the story of mesons.